Hey, what's going guys? It's Jared, and I am here gonna go ahead and give you guys a tutorial. Let me actually move my mic closer, so hopefully you can hear me better. I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to set up your Eclipse workspace to look like mine did in the Programming Snake with Java video, uh, which, and I made this. Uh, it's a very simple version of Snake. It doesn't even have, like, the final end game thing to where if you fill up the entire area and stuff like that, but it's not a really big deal. It's kind of just saying, hey, uh, this is how to make a simple game. However, that's not what we're focusing on today. We're actually gonna go ahead and create a new folder real fast just so that I can actually demonstrate this from a blank start. So Eclipse color theme, that's what I'm gonna name this uh, because that's gonna be the plugin that we're gonna be using and it kinda just makes things look nicer. So, first off, let me go ahead and extract everything from Eclipse right here and put it right in there. Okay, so now that's all done, all we really need to do is come to this website right here. It's my dog running up the stairs, I don't know why. Um, and there's a installation thing right here. And just click this link, it's gonna automatically download this. Takes literally a second. Uh, now I have two, and you only need one. <laughs> so open up your Eclipse folder, and in here you'll see a drop-ins folder. In drop-ins, you actually wanna take the com.github eclipse color theme thing and then move the plugins folder into there okay so that's all that really takes for that one and now we actually need to launch this eclipse so let's go ahead and do that let's get the path for here okay and now we can paste that so this isn't going to load everything from before um, actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe we'll have to actually create a new workspace, come to think about it. Because that one's going to have all the plugins. So, let me just do workspace 2. Alright, so now we have the welcome to Eclipse thing. Okay, so, now what we want to do is we want to go to eclipsecolorthemes.org, click download, and in here, we'll get this Eclipse, we'll get another GitHub link. Uh, GitHub is a file sharing website or a source sharing website. So it's pretty nice to be a thing for working with other people. Okay, so we're gonna click install new software and we're gonna paste that link right there. We're gonna add Eclipse color themes. You can name this whatever you want. I don't even think you name, need a name. And then you can click next. I think my dog was just crying. I think she's trying to get in my dad's room, but I'm pretty sure he's not actually there. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's click next, accept, and finish. So in a second here, this is actually gonna ask us uh, for the unsigned content. So just click yes. Uh, let's click no right there because we're gonna have to restart it for the appearance for Dark Juno, which should be right here. Now click Apply, and it'll say that you have to restart your Eclipse. So this one actually won't do it automatically for you, but you can do it yourself. Now, if we go ahead and open the workspace up, we can create a new project. So Java project, uh, I spelled project wrong, no big deal, and then class all right so I can just type a few methods here just to demonstrate like what the default is so public static void main string args blah 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 uh, public int high equals 43 public static int high 2 equals 34 uh, public uh, actually, I actually want to make this final. And then public string hello equals 2. So this is pretty much oh, equals 2. Equals 2. I want numbers. Okay, so that's pretty much a basic 
gist of what the main editor is. If you click on preferences again, and then we go to appearance and then color theme, we can change that to front end dev. This even gives you a demo as well of what it's going to look like. You can look through all these ones, they have some pretty cool ones. Um, a lot of them are pretty nice. And front end dev just happens to be my favorite. That's a pretty nice one right there. That one's kind of hard to see and stuff like that. So this one seems to be the best for me. Oh. Let's apply that one back again. And as you can see, now these change a little bit. Int is just oh. Int is just orange. The final one is high two or is green. <laughs> um in here that's gonna be yellow and yeah so hopefully this helps you guys help helps your eyes even and I hope you did enjoy and this was pretty simple to set up so thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you next time